When a product is, or a molecule is identified, discovered, and they want to put it into clinical trials, that's just really the beginning for us. At that point, it enters into our development organization, and they've got to figure out how to develop a manufacturing process. Typically, biologic drugs are produced by living organisms, by cells. So the first order of the day is to take a single cell or a small number of cells and expand them such that there are enough of them so you can make a significant quantity of material. We call that the cell culture process. After our research colleagues have innovated a new drug product, the Cell Culture Organization is the first stop in PONT. We help our research colleague to finalize, select the final cell line, and then what we do is we take this final cell line, we actually put these cells, the clone, into our bioreactors and optimize the culture conditions. We take samples from these, we count the cells, we look at biochemical attributes of the cell culture to determine the condition which produces the most product at the appropriate product quality. The cell as such makes not only our target products, produces a wide variety of different things, and now it's about finding the needle in the haystack and isolating the protein of interest or our target product from that big mixture. We call that purification. We get this uh, crude broth from cell culture that contains uh, impurities such as host cell protein, uh, host DNA, uh, viruses. And our job is to take that material and subject it to a series of chromatographic separations, filtration uh, operations to generate a product that's pure enough. While we use a lot of technologies that are tried and tested, many times we have to think outside the box and come up with a, a new type of resin that we haven't tried before or a, a new type of purification altogether. So there's the challenge of the actual cell culture development and then purifying to extract just the drug itself and then determining the proper formulation to keep this drug stable and potent so that it can be delivered to patients. In analytical development, we support each of these phases by providing the analytics necessary to really characterize the product molecule itself. We may need brand new assays to analyze the purity and the stability of this product. One of the things that is very powerful about having the kind of analytics that we have is that we can answer such a broad range of questions in incredible detail. And because we can generate such powerful information, we as a technical development organization are able to make more informed and calculated decisions that help us drive innovation so much faster. Innovation is really a, a core of what we do. One of our major products, for example, Tysabri, shortly after we launched the product, uh, we developed a process within our technical development organization that increased the productivity fourfold. And that's huge. I mean, in most industries, if you can get a 10, 20, 30 percent productivity increase, that's transformational. For us, 400 uh, percent transformation. And it requires that we have innovative facilities, process equipment, as well as technical capabilities that in the end allow us to really make that productivity a reality.